Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. Oh man, I love Tumor Humor Days because I get to show you how I developed my comic perspective even while I was on cancer treatment. So as you know, if you've heard other episodes and if you like Tumor Humor, you can go back and search more of the prior episodes. I have a lot of them. I did the Tumor Humor Challenge where I challenged myself to write humor about my cancer journey from all perspectives for 31 days and then beyond. But here's one of the original Tumor Humor jokes and I will say it and then I'll tell you the story behind it. My blood of flunked so many tests. If it were a student, I'd be held back a year. (laughs) Oh, now for anyone who's gotten PSA results or CA-127 results, any blood marker, and they were going in the wrong direction, you can identify with what I am talking about. Even if you got back blood results and your white blood cell count was super low and you had to go get a boost, a shot, I have literally flunked so many blood tests. And what it comes from too is that my tumor markers never changed even when I had raging cancer. Do you realize that a lot of people get tumor marker indicators that their cancer is growing and so they can adjust chemos and treat? Well, it didn't matter what I was doing. My tumor markers never, ever changed. If I had no cancer, a little cancer, a lot of cancer, everything just stayed the same. But I heard everybody talking about their blood markers being bad And then I had other blood results that came in that had nothing to do with cancer, but that were showing that I was either losing bone mass from calcium dumping in my blood or that my white blood cell count was very low. So it came every which way possible. And as you might remember, I am a retired New York City teacher also. So The combination of being a teacher and then getting really bad blood results, it made me think of this language about flunking blood tests because people really don't say you flunk blood tests. But being a teacher, it was just language that was used in the schoolroom. So as you can see, if you want to start thinking about this comedically, you have an experience from your own life, from your own job, from your own family. You have language that you use and experiences that you've had, and then you have the cancer journey. And if you make a list of both, hopefully you'll start to see how they collide as they did with me in this language of flunking and blood tests and the reality of my cancer treatment. So I hope that that example illuminated a little more. We're just going to keep chipping away at this until things start popping in your head that are funny about your cancer journey. And who knows, you might go to an open mic and perform. You might join a Zoom show. You might make a little videotape of your humor and send it to me at the Comedy Cures Foundation. We call it tumor humor. It can be about any illness, any stress, anything that's going on in your life that bugs you or scares you. So go to comedycures.org and hit the record button and tell me one of your jokes or one of your premises 
or send me a video and let me see you either for family, friends, or at an open mic doing your thing. Have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow. You know, everybody always asks, what would be a great gift to give somebody newly diagnosed with cancer or re-diagnosed with cancer or just going through cancer for a really long time? And that's one of the reasons why I created the Beating Cancer Daily Membership Circle so that I would have a gift to give every time I find out that someone's been diagnosed. So if you haven't already joined for yourself, please go to comedycures.org and check out the Beating Cancer Daily Membership Circle Levels. And if you need a great gift, what an unbelievable opportunity. It starts for as little as $5 per month. The levels change and go up from there. You can even buy a mega gift for somebody. And all of these levels support not only making this podcast, but support the membership circle opportunities, which include so many resources, including live virtual Q&A sessions, live Comedy Cures comedy events, live health builder workshops with Jackie Bryan, RN, and myself, a robust monthly newsletter, plus much more. So if you do want to give yourself a gift or you want to share that with someone you love, please go to comedycares.org and explore the membership levels. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is? It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.